Hello, my name is Alex and this video quick tip will cover downloading to the EXRC1 over the CAN bus network. The advantage of this is you do not need to directly connect to a programming cable from a PC to the EXRC1 to download or view the expansion adapter online. This is due to the EXRC1 having physical dip switches on the unit that assigns the CAN bus unit ID number. This allows you to install the EXRC1 in remote locations and download a program by connecting through a networked CAN bus device. Here I have the EXRC1 program already loaded up. This program can be found within the Unitronics help files under examples, version 900, project examples, communications, EXRC1, and then the EXRC1 new program. To connect to this device, I go to the connection dropdown, then communication in an OS. And I am connected to a Vision 570 uh, controller over serial. So I am still going to be using our network settings of uh, COM3. And I will change the baud rate to 57600 for the EXRC1. Normally, when making a regular serial connection, you will select direct connection. However, I do want to communicate with the EXRC1, which uses unit ID number two. To set this ID, we refer to the EXRC1 uh, manual, which uh, shows us how to set the unit ID number. The unit ID ranges from one to 60. There are physical dip switch settings, which are set up to represent binary values. You simply need to set which ID number you wish to use. Uh, this RC1 uses unit ID number two, so I've set uh, bit number two. And after setting a different unit ID, you must cycle the power on the EXRC1. Now that I've set the unit ID to two, I can get my OPLC information. It comes back, so now I'm able to make a connection to and uh, download and upload from the EXRC1. Then I can download my program directly. And it'll sh it will show that I'm downloading to unit ID number two. This concludes this helpful quick tip. I hope you found the information helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at support at unitronics.com. Thank you.